It's at this point where two projects I've been working on in Paolo for a while now have come together onto one bike. There's the power meter and the automatic shifter. So why would you want to connect a power meter to an automatic shifting system then? Well, you can buy an automatic shifter for these MVOLO hubs, but it's what I would call a constant cadence controller. There's nothing wrong with that, and that's how I started off with mine as well for many years. But you have to actually select the cadence using a handlebar shifter. It can actually be quite good though, because if you want to maintain a constant power, you can sense roughly what power you're putting out by the amount of torque you're applying to the pedals. But with this bike project, I wanted to take it to the next level and make it fully automatic. And for that, you need to measure power and change the cadence automatically. So next I'm going to go into some equations that I use to change cadence based on power output. Let's take a look at the cadence from power equation. Now I know roughly what mine is from years of experience with CVT riding and also it can be done if you data log. So if you have manual shifting you could data log that as long as you've got power and cadence data find out roughly what yours is, but for me I know that uh, my lowest cadence is around 60 um, and 200 watts it's around 70ish and at 400 it's about 80ish so I'm only using straight lines at the moment um, so we want something approximately like that that's my approximate optimum that I'm using at the moment. There's two ways we can modify this uh, equation so we could use the handlebar buttons to do that and the first one is to shift the line up and down so you, if someone likes to pedal a bit slower you could shift the line down or a bit faster you could shift it up. That's one way you can modify the equation. The second and this will change the effect, the amount of effect that um, power has on cadence. So you could flatten the line out, for example, something like that. Or you could make the line steeper. So you start from lower, like that, for example. Or any combination of the two. Um, so you could like uh, shift the line up and have it less steep. That's some examples. These are just straight lines, and of course, there's a lot of research could be done into uh, the optimum, but uh, that's really uh, the next stage of the project. It could be some sort of a curve like that, for example. Yeah, that's a brief explanation of how you can modify cadence based on power, if you have power data, and to make it this uh, fully automatic shifter. So now let's have a look at some data that I've recorded recently. Here's a ride that I recorded and put onto Strava the other day, and uh, the power and cadence data here is recorded with the Garmin Vector pedals. As you can see, the uh, cadence is very similar looking to the power when it's in its graphed form like this. And a little bit more detail there. Here's another graph, this time showing my power meter in blue against the Garmin in red. Also cadence and speed as well. The accuracy of my power meter is not quite there yet. I am working on that, uh, but it's not too bad. At times like there, for example, it's pretty much perfect. You would expect a certain amount of drift this sort of thing here because it's obviously a single sided power meter and so it makes the assumption that the power is split perfect 50-50 which I know mine isn't but of course it may vary depending on power output and so on. Here's some more data this is from the uh, auto shifter so this is my power meter here the one in red and here is the uh, cadence that it's trying to achieve in purple and behind it in the blue is the real cadence so as you can see it's 
pretty good at uh, maintaining the desired cadence. These bits here, when there's zero power, it goes back into uh, constant cadence mode. So obviously I could use the buttons to uh, shift that up and down if there was no power meter connected, for example. And uh, when you take all the data and put it onto this graph here, the power against cadence graph that we've just been looking at, you can see that uh, averaged up you get this uh, straight line. So that's just an example of some uh, data that I've recorded recently. And uh, I shall be putting up uh, more videos in the future at random times uh, of anything that's interesting really as I uh, continue with the project but uh, at the moment that pretty much sums up the build thank you for watching